Hi guys, welcome. So today I'm doing a lip swatch review on the Maybelline 24 color Superstay lipsticks. I do have three videos up, two on the Lifto Gloss as well as one on the Superstay Matte Ink lipstick which are in the coffee edition. These are also in the coffee edition. And I was not gonna pick these up because I did purchase one of these a long time ago which was like a purplish color and I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I threw it away and um, today is my first day actually trying these on I do have two videos up of me um, wearing this lipstick one is already up the next video is gonna be me doing this face I just changed my shirt and as I was applying the product on I kind of remember why I don't have that other color anymore so I'm going to apply them on and then I'll give you guys my feedback of what I think about these. so I got all of the items out of their packaging so as I was saying three of these shade are metallic And I'm not a huge fan of like metallic shades, but I thought they were really pretty. So I decided to give them a try and this is how they look like. And then the other two are just regular shades, which is also very pretty. And then with these lipstick, um, this is the one I've already worn. One side has like a lip balm and then the other side is the actual lipstick and um from what it says on the packaging it says step one is the um lipstick and then step two is the lip balm so you're supposed to apply the color first and then you're supposed to apply the lip balm on top of it um, and it says this is anti-transfer up to 24 hour wear which I have to say that's a big claim but I did wear this today to work um, I work you know eight hours and it literally stayed for the whole eight hours so you know maybe it's true but I mean I'm not wearing lipstick for a whole 24 hours so I wouldn't know but I didn't do it the way that they mentioned I applied step one first and then I applied step two so that could be why I experienced what I did experience where it was kind of like crumbling up um, so I'm gonna apply step one and then apply step two which is the lip balm I'm gonna apply it on by themselves and then if I need a lip liner I do have my NYX lip liner right here um, but I don't think I'm going to need one because I wear this without a lip liner and it didn't look that bad so I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna stop talking And this is how Camera Crush look on me. Earlier when I applied this, I did apply the lip balm first and then I applied the actual lip product and it didn't look this crazy. <laughs> it definitely needs a lip liner, applying it the way that the um, that they advertise with the color first and then the lip balm. Um, one thing I do like about these that I don't like about the Superstay Matte Ink these are not sticky the matte ink is so sticky that I don't wear them as much because of that but these are still peeling they're like and I thought maybe because I applied the balm first and then I applied the product that could be why but I don't think so because it's doing the same thing I don't know if you guys could see like you could see my whole lip color from it and it's like separating. This is how it looks with the lip liner. 
and you could see my whole lip color all through here I don't know if it's showing on camera but I could see it and I don't really care for that so let me see I don't think this is fixing it I don't know if you guys could see it's like peeling all in the middle so I don't care for that I'm going to just go ahead and apply the remainder four shades on just so you guys could see but you know you guys already see how it was separating but I'm gonna just apply the other colors on just so you guys could see how they look on me so the second one is 325 and this is um, chai once more this is how chai once more is looking like and it it is very pretty it looks like a lip gloss it's very very pretty let me see if I could build it up because I could just see my lip color showing through it and I love the smell of them This is really pretty. So I'm gonna apply the lip balm and I don't know why is it like peeling. I don't know if it's because of the lip balm, but it is sticky without the lip balm. It is sticky without the lip balm as it dries. With the lip balm, it's not sticky at all. This one is not peeling. This one is good. So, I don't know. So, I'm going to apply the lip liner. Like, I think it looks good by itself, but let's see how I look with the lip liner. I looks with the lip liner chai once more is a metallic shade and I actually like this and I don't even like metallic shades on me but like I like this this is how it's looking very very pretty and this did not peel so I don't know what was going on with the first shade 320 caramel cream Crush, but I don't know maybe it's because of the formula of that one but this is how chai once more is looking like and this is 325 extremely extremely pretty I like this one so now I'm gonna apply 330 and this this is hush hazelnut okay this one Oh, this one is very pretty. It's like a goldish bronze rose gold. I'm horrible at describing colors, but it has a lot of different stuff going on. And it all smells good. I definitely don't need to go back with a second top one is enough very pretty and this one is hush hazelnut yeah this is really pretty it's very it's different this is something where 
I don't know. I mean, I definitely wouldn't wear this every day, but it is pretty. Um, and I'm gonna apply the lip balm on top of it because as it dries, it does get sticky. And with the lip balm, it makes it feel so much better. And the lip balm is actually really um, moisturizing because when I did apply it the first time, I applied it the opposite way. I applied the lip balm first and the lip balm was extremely moisturizing. This one again is 330 Hush Hazelnut and this is how it's looking. I'm gonna apply the lip liner because I don't really, I wouldn't wear it just like this because I feel as if like on my skin tone, I need a lip liner. it's looking with the lip liner the lip liner definitely tone it down a little bit it's not a color that I would wear every single day because it reminds me <laughs> of like the 90s type of lipstick that my mom used to wear um, so it's not a color that I would wear every single day but I like it you know it's pretty it's different i don't have nothing like this in my makeup i i know i don't because this definitely reminds me of like those 90s lipstick and they're not sticky love that okay so that color did take a while for me to get it off so keep that in mind now i'm gonna apply 335 mocha chocolate and this one looks like a reddish color to me oh my gosh this smells so good all of them smells good but this one's this one smells amazing This is how mocha chocolate is looking like. <clears throat> mocha chocolate and um, chai once more. You have to build them up. But this is how it's looking like, very pretty. Now I'm gonna apply the lip balm because it is drying and it's getting sticky. You definitely need the lip balm like without the lip balm these would be horrible but the lip balm definitely makes a difference this is how it looks like very pretty I don't need a lip liner with this one and I feel like it matched my shirt <laughs> it's very pretty so, mocha chocolate <laughs> This is the last shade. This is Mocha Moves, shade 340. This is how 340's looking like. Mocha moves. I'm gonna apply the liner. Oh. You see, if you don't apply the um, lip balm, that's what happens. You see, so sticky. But with the lip balm, we definitely need the lip balm. With the lip balm, none of that. So this is how Mocha Moves is looking like. And I did apply the lip liner on top of it because it was a little bit too much for me. 
and I do like it. So with all of these shades, um, I would say this one I really like the color and this one again is the Caramel Crush 320 but I don't know why it's the only one that did that peeling. None of the other ones did it besides this one. So I don't know what's going on with it. I like the color, um, but I don't like that peeling effect it was doing. And I thought maybe this shade would do it too, Mocha Moves, because they're both are, you know, just, they're not um, metallic, they're regular. So I assume maybe it's the formula, but it's not doing that. It's not peeling. So I don't know what's going on with Caramel Crush, but yeah, it did all of that peeling and I applied it the same way I applied all the other ones um, I would say my favorite out of these would be my favorite shade out of these would be 325 chai once more and 335 mocha chocolate I really like how they look on um, mocha moves is pretty as well but um, it's a little bit dark like I like my nudes to be really like nude and this is a little bit dark i would wear it of course i purchased it but um it's a little bit dark for me maybe it's the lip liner as well i'll try with my other lip liners and see because this one sometimes i feel as if like it's a little bit like it has like a little red to it as well even though i really do like this lip liner so i'll try for another lip liner and see if that could you know tone down the look um hush hazelnut is pretty as well but again this reminds me so much of like the back in the day type of shades. Um, so this is something I wouldn't wear every single day once in a while because of the color or maybe as a topper, like just a little bit um, on top. But I definitely like these way more than the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. Those, the shades are pretty, but the stickiness, I, I can't do the stickiness so I think what I'm gonna do is the lip balm that's with these I'm gonna apply it when I'm using those lipstick as well to see if it helps with the stickiness um, these are I think a dollar more than the Superstay matte ink um, but even though they're more I like these way more than the Superstay matte ink um, but I'm gonna try with the lip balm and see if that helps the Superstay matte ink but besides that I really like these um, I like the way they look and again I did have the caramel crush on today at work and it literally was on my lips the whole day yes I applied it the wrong way because I applied the lip balm first and then I applied the lipstick but that didn't matter it was on the whole entire day so these are not matte to me um after you apply the lip balm it's very comfortable um i wish they were matte because i love matte lipsticks but they'll do so again i definitely like these way more than i like the super stay matte ink they feel way more better way more comfortable there's no stickiness after you apply the lip balm um but if you have any questions leave them down below if i didn't answer anything let me know and i'll try my best to answer it um if you have not subscribed please do so i'll definitely appreciate it thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching another one of my videos i definitely appreciate that hope you guys are staying safe Bye.